Hi, this is Angie at Polished Picture. In today's tutorial, I'm going to do a newborn before and after. So here is our starting image. The first thing I always do um, on any image is to clean up any uh, blemishes or imperfections. So I have my background layer and I'm going to hit Control or Command J to duplicate the layer. And as you can see, this is a baby. So we have all kinds of baby skin things going on, which is completely normal. Actually, this little guy looks good. Um, but I am going to use the spot healing brush tool, and that is J uh, on your keyboard. You can see there's all of these tools, but I'm going to use the spot healing brush. And then I am just going to go through and click. You're going to have to um, make the size of your brush larger or smaller, depending on what you're trying to heal. But I'm just going to click all these little spots on this layer. This is the first part of cleaning up the skin. Gonna take a quick minute here. Just a few more. Okay, I'm gonna show you before and after that layer you can see that a bunch of just the little marks got cleaned up secondly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna even out his skin tone a little bit so I'm gonna take away some of the contrast in the image now you might not want to do this for every image but um, for babies I don't like a ton of contrast I'm gonna do a new curves layer and I have a tutorial on how to do this elsewhere but I'm going to select a point on his face that's brighter that I don't want you know the skin to get brighter than this so I'm gonna pick like a lighter spot here on his forehead and then I'm also going and you can see that it put a point on my curve and then I'm also gonna choose like a shadowy area that I would like to bring up so I'm gonna choose here and then I'm just gonna pull up now when I turn this layer on and off be able to see it took a lot of the contrast of the image out so depending on your image you know a step like this might not look good but on a baby image I like the softness that this gives to a newborn picture so there um, is that step and you can see that a lot of the redness in his skin went away as well and I'm going to do one more thing um, to remove a little bit of his redness I'm going to do a new hue saturation layer and I'm going to pull up the reds and I'm going to bring down the saturation a little bit and I'm watching these areas here as I'm doing it and I'm going to bring up the lightness a little bit and then I'm going to invert this layer because this picture certainly doesn't look good I'm going to invert this say command I and then with a white brush I'm going to paint in that lightning effect um, with a white brush on this layer so I'm going to start with about a 50% brush and see what that does just on some of these redder areas. Doesn't have to be perfect, just trying to clean that up a little bit. You can see here's before and after. So I've removed some of that redness. I'm gonna do maybe a 20% brush here on his eye a little bit too, just to smooth things out a little bit. So from where we started, we've gone from here to here. So from a distance, I think that looks pretty good as well. Um, but I am going to do one final thing to smooth out his skin. Uh, my favorite way to smooth skin is by using the portraiture plugin. I love it just because it's quick and accurate and it works well. So to do that, it needs to be run on a, on a flattened or like a pixel layer. Um, so I am going to go ahead at this point and flatten my image. Control or Command Shift E is the shortcut to flatten your image. And then I'm going to run Portraiture. So it's under Filter. Uh, and this is something that I have purchased. So I am going to run it. Um, and for me, it was one of my first photography purchases. And um, it was extremely well worth it. Okay, so this usually looks really good um, by itself, uh, like at the default levels. I just always make sure that I output it to a new layer. 
and I'm going to say okay. Now, one other thing, if it doesn't, like you can tell, here's the before and after. I don't know if you could tell that from the video, but if it's not choosing the skin, you can go ahead and use this color picker and click on the skin, um, and it will make sure that it selects everything in this type of color range. You can see over here on the side. So I'm going to say okay, and you'll see what it's going to do here is do a new layer. It's working right now. So here's before and after the skin smoothing. Now, sometimes this can be a little too dramatic like it is now. You can see the distance. I don't want to make him look plastic or fake. Um, that's why I run it on its own layer and reduce the opacity until it looks a little more natural. So I'm going to do about here. Maybe, does that look good? 62%. And then one other thing I do is on this portraiture layer, on the skin smoothing layer, I add a mask and I take my brush, like a black brush, so I change it to black, and maybe at about, I don't know, it depends on where I am, maybe 60%, I'm gonna go over like the hairs on him, so his eyelashes, because I'm gonna mask out the smoothness. I don't want you know his hair to just disappear into his skin, and do his lips, paint over his hair, a little bit just so it's not completely smooth um, and I'm, I'll show you it looks a little scary but this is where I masked out in other words I took away the skin smoothing effect on those places so it wasn't quite you know so his features weren't completely smoothed out so I'm gonna zoom in close and you could see before and after the portraiture it just adds a really nice smoothing finish. You could still see some of the little baby skin and stuff, but that's what that's what babies look like. So we don't want to take all that away. Okay, after that, I'm going to go ahead and flatten it again, and then I always run a quick like light sharpening. So I am going to run, I have a high pass sharpen act. I've created an action on my site. There's a tutorial on how to do a high pass sharpening layer, which you could see before and after that it just sharpens up some of these features. So sometimes I reduce the opacity, but I think this looks pretty good right now. And I am pretty much done. So I'm gonna flatten this and I'll save it as a JPEG and I will show you what it looked like at the beginning and at the end. Beginning and end. I'll show you a close up. Beginning and end. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.